Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Keeti and today I'll be telling you why toothpicks are bad for teeth. Now you might wonder how toothpicks can be bad. I mean, its name itself contains the word tooth in it, but no, toothpicks are bad for teeth. I'll tell you why. But before moving ahead, let me tell you something interesting about its history. Toothpicks are the oldest dental cleaning tools. It has been proved by the fossils of 7500 years old teeth. As you can appreciate in this picture, a caveman is cleaning his teeth by using a toothpick like device. But it was harmful back then and it is now. The only difference is the ancient people did not have any option but we have. Getting food stuck between your teeth can be irritating and embarrassing. But using a toothpick every time is not a solution. Here are a few reasons why poking a toothpick in your teeth and gums is not a good idea. Enamel is the outermost protective layer of the tooth. Harsh usage of toothpicks can lead to wear of the tooth enamel and sometimes disc discoloration of teeth also. Frequent and rough usage of toothpick can damage your gums causing bleeding and tearing. In fact, a toothpick could pack the stuck food further inside instead of taking it out. Toothpick could do more harm than good in cases where your gum have been pulled away from your teeth, leaving tooth surface exposed and at the same time it is very painful also. Pressure from the toothpick can create gaps between your teeth. These gaps or spacing is not only anesthetic but it also causes gum disease. Some people have the habit of unnecessarily chewing on a toothpick. Well, sometimes it could lead to fracture of tooth. So be careful, it's not at all cool. Sometimes vigorous and improper use of toothpicks can cause damage to the fillings or caps. Toothpick can break and leave splinter in your gums, cheek, tongue and throat. It is not only painful and hard to remove but could also cause an infection in your mouth. Sometimes while using a toothpick it could be swallowed accidentally resulting in some serious complications which might need a surgery. See how a toothpick could literally kill you. So what to use then? There are various alternatives to toothpicks. For example, you can use conventional dental floss, dental floss sticks and interdental brushes. The best way to remove food from your teeth is with a dental floss. Flossing once daily has an added advantage of removing plaque, preventing cavities, gum disease and bad breath. Interdental brushes have a small bristled head. They not only helps in cleaning the stuck food but also for uh, to reach to the uh, tooth surfaces that cannot be reached by a brush. Should you stop using a toothpick? I would say you can use but only when there is no other option left. Provided that you should use individually pre-packed toothpicks for the safety issues. Use it very gently, avoid chewing on it after use and avoid its frequent use. Try to replace it with a floss. So when to visit your dentist? If you experience any of the signs or symptoms such as regular food lodgement which can either be due to a broken filling or the cavities, spacing or gap between your teeth, bleeding gums, pain and sensit sensitivity in and around your teeth. So don't pick a toothpick, use floss like a boss. Thank you. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel all about teeth and press the bell icon to get the latest notifications.